Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly objective videos on topics that matter. In this special holiday edition of Illustrate to Educate, let's take a look at how Christmas compares with Hanukkah. First, let's get a quick overview of the two holidays, and then we'll dive right into their origins. Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ and is observed on December 25th as a religious and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. It is celebrated religiously by a majority of Christians as well as culturally by many non-Christians. Hanukkah is a Jewish festival commemorating the rededication of the Second Temple in Jerusalem at the time of the Maccabean Revolt against the Seleucid Empire. Hanukkah is observed for eight nights and days starting on the 25th day of Kislev, according to the Hebrew calendar, which may occur at any time from late November to late December in the Gregorian calendar. Now that we've taken a quick overview of the two holidays, let's look at where these two originated. The story of Jesus' birth is told in the Gospel of Luke in the Bible. In the Bible, prophets had promised the Jewish people that God would send them a Messiah or the Anointed One. Christians believe that the promised Messiah was Jesus, and in the story of Jesus' birth, Mary was the wife of Joseph and the biological mother of Jesus. While a virgin, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and announced the coming birth of Jesus. When it came time for Jesus' birth, Joseph took his new wife to Bethlehem. There was nowhere for them to stay except a stable where the animals slept. This is where the baby Jesus was born, and on the night he was born, angels told some shepherds in the field that they would find a newborn king lying in a manger. Jesus' other visitors were some wise men who saw a new star in the sky and followed it until they found the house where the family was now living and gave the young child expensive gifts of gold, incense, and a precious herb called myrrh. The origins of Hanukkah begin about 2,200 years ago when there was a war between the Greeks and the Jews. The Greeks won and forced their culture on the Jews, and a group of Jewish people called Maccabees revolted and liberated Jerusalem. The Maccabees found their temple defiled with the worshipping of Zeus, and they sought to rededicate it to God by relighting the menorah, whose source of fuel was olive oil. And according to the Talmud, the Jewish people only found a single jar of undefiled oil, and that oil was only enough to last a single day. But the Jewish people took a leap of faith and relit the menorah, and to their surprise, the menorah stayed lit for eight days, a miracle from God. Next, let's talk about how they're celebrated. Before the 4th century AD, Christians could only worship and celebrate in secret until Constantine, the Emperor of Rome, made Christianity a legal religion and built some of Rome's oldest churches. Christians celebrate Christmas by attending Mass, saying prayers, singing carols, and retelling the story of Jesus' birth from the Gospels. For many, Christmas is a time for parties, sending letters and giving presents in celebration of Jesus' birth. Christmas around the world has become commercialized with manufacturers advertising Christmas sales and extravagant decorations in their stores. Hanukkah is an eight-day celebration and each day commemorates each day that the oil lasted. The celebration of Hanukkah includes a variety of customs. The most important of all is the lighting of the menorah, a candelabra with eight branches plus a holder for the shamash, servant candle, that is used to light the other eight candles. Olive oil was traditionally used for lighting the menorah, but it was replaced by candles which are inserted each night of the festival from right to left, but are lit from left to right. A blessing is also offered while the candles are lit each night. The Hanukkah observance is also characterized by daily reading of scripture, reciting psalms, almsgiving, and singing of a special hymn. Celebrations and traditions for Christmas and Hanukkah can vary, but here are a few common ones. For Christmas, it is tradition for churches to set up the scene of the nativity. Families will often go out caroling in their neighborhoods. Many cities and towns celebrate Christmas by decorating buildings and street trees or by putting a huge Christmas tree in a public place. Shopping malls and big stores often have a Santa Claus who sits on a throne while children tell him what they want for Christmas while having their photo taken. Many take this time to get together for dinner with their families and celebrate Christmas through their own traditions, most common of which is exchanging gifts. Christmas is also a time to help the poor and lonely by donating food and gifts for poor families. For Hanukkah, potato pancakes and donuts and other treats fried in oil, which recall the miracle of the oil, are popular. Children receive presents and gifts of money, which is sometimes distributed in the form of chocolate coins wrapped in gold foil. Card playing is common and children play a game with a four-sided top called a dreidel. In countries where Christmas rituals are widespread, some echoes of those rituals appear in Hanukkah celebrations. Some families, for example, exchange gifts or decorate their homes. The word Hanukkah in Hebrew also means education, and rabbis and Jewish educators try to instill in their congregants the notion that the holiday celebrates Jewish strengths, 
perseverance, and continuity. Did you enjoy this video comparing Christmas with Hanukkah? Please like and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate, share this video, and comment on your thoughts about these holidays below. And of course, feel free to check out some of my other videos to the right.